Pet Handicapping Show. I'm Claire Novak, and the whole gang is in the studio today. Ellis Starr from Equibase and Tom Lamara. We are here to talk about the $200,000 Santa Monica Stakes, a grade two sprint for the Phillies and Mares going seven furlongs at Santa Anita. And I am picking horses in here that Ellis does not like with prize exhibit, trying the dirt for the first time. And uh, room for me, that claimer who was claimed by her connections and then has done super great in New York. She's going to come back and race at Santa Anita again. And then Tara's Tango looking to do better second start off the layup. But Ellis is going to bash everything. So first, before he does that, let's hear people's picks. Well, I'm not only going to bash two out of the three, by the way. So <laughs> my top pick is Ben's Duchess, who will probably go favored. It's obvious that she's the horse that has fits the condition. She won the grade three LA Woman Stakes at six and a half furlongs over the track in October. Uh, she came back and she was still eligible for four-year-olds only in the La Brea. It was a grade one. Uh, she wasn't disgraced at all, in my opinion, running fourth in that race, considering Hot City Girl, the full to love her dad, and cavorting a really talented horses. Mm -hmm. She should improve a ton. Uh, second race at the distance as well, but more than that, it's a class drop. And she got a 104 Echo Bay Speed figure for her LA woman race, which is again very repeatable in this situation. Room for me, who you mentioned, is my second pick, and I'm not knocking her a bit. Very well, that's talented. That's good. I got really. one out of three. You did. Absolutely. <laughs> She's three for four at Santa Anita before going to New York mm. and coming back to Santa Anita again. She won the Garland of Roses one before last with the 102 figures. So that lines up really well with and the And she's best. been running in some tough company. Oh, absolutely. Again, mention La Verdad. Mm -hmm. La Verdad beat her uh, in that race. She beat, she beat her in the Interboro after her Garland of Roses win, and La Verdad beat her in the Gallon Bloom. So mm -hmm. she's no La Verdad's in here. So she should run well. And Living the Life is an interesting horse. She's really, really good on all weather. She's eight, all of her, eight of her nine wins have come on all weather. She won the Presque Isle Downs Masters at grade two. So when you mm -hmm. match up grade two race win and a grade two race here, she fits on that condition as well. Um, she's never, she's run on dirt three times with one second. It was a decent effort, but her recent workouts on dirt have been phenomenal. Best of 83, best of 10, third of 86. I don't see a problem with her transferring her form, so my picks are Ben's Duchess, Room for Me, and Living the Life. All right, and Tom, you and I both like Tara's Tango, although I picked her second. Yes. You're going to take a look at her, uh, and she's just a horse who, you know, her connections have clearly had high regard for her, but she's been a little bit off form, but she did get a layup and then came back to run a decent effort last time out. Yes, and you could argue that maybe she wants to go longer than this. Um, last summer, she, uh, she almost won against Stellar Wind mm -hmm. um, in a, a really, really nice three-year-old filly. Um, the reason that I like her is Mike Smith is back on board. Um, she raced on December 30th, which was her first race in several months. Not a great start. Eh, really didn't pick up a lot of ground, but picked up a couple spots. And um, I think when you go back to her uh, sprint races last spring, um, I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that she could be either on or near the lead here. Mm -hmm. And there's, this is kind of a mixed bag of horses, some cutting back, some coming off turf races. And um, I don't know. Um, this was a dartboard race for me, and I just looked at her previous form from last year and said, this is it. All the horses that Alice mentioned, however, I would gladly use underneath of Tara's tank. <laughs> All right. Well, and just circling back to prize exhibit, I do think it's very interesting. You know, there's not a higher level turf race for fillies and mares in Southern California until February. So trainer Jim Cassidy kind of saying, you know, this is a chance to see if something works and if it doesn't, cross it off the list. I do think she's going to like the distance. Uh, she ran very well. Now, granted, that was the downhill turf course, which I think does give some horses a little bit more momentum coming off of that, that track. But I do think it will be very interesting to see how she does in here. Previous grade two winner on the turf already, so she does have the class level. Whether, whether she'll handle the surface, we will find out. And Ellis, this is the Equibase Feature Race of the Week. Yes, it is. And my only knock on prize exhibit is, again, and she's trying dirt for the first time, giving away that experience. My knock on Tara's Tango is her last race got an 84 Echo Bay speed figure, and you can't go from that level to the 104 that's going to take to win this race. All right, and Ellis has more analysis at equibase.com. With free products. So you can read that. You can go to bloodhorse.com for all of our coverage. Follow all of us on Twitter. It's going to be a little bit of a quiet weekend of racing, but the following weekend, there's a bazillion graded stakes, so we will pick the best one to analyze for you. We always want to thank Equibase for sponsoring the show, and thank you for watching.